Welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a cooperative show with the U.S. Small Business Administration Hawaii District Office, the Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veterans Business Outreach Center of the Pacific to showcase the stories of local entrepreneurs and small businesses. I'm Colleen McAlooney from the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership, and today we have Brittany Montiliano here to join us. Good morning, or good afternoon, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Colleen, for having me. So today we are speaking to Brittany. She is actually also from the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. And she's going to tell us a little bit about herself to start off with and her background. Thank you, Colleen. So I uh, am the program coordinator for the Mink Center for Business and Leadership. So I work with Colleen as well as uh, Terry, our director, to help with small small businesses uh, by providing them with resources along with our leadership development programs and also uh, our entrepreneur programs. Excellent. That's great. So tell us a little bit about your background before you came to MCBL. So before I came to MCBL, I uh, was actually working on getting my degree in uh, marketing and communications. And then mm -hmm. I also ended up getting my degree also in graphic design. So that's really helped me uh, pursue my interests. I was really interested in event planning and coordination. So I wanted to try, to try to figure out some degrees to help or what degree uh, would help me get there. Excellent. That's great. And so um, what was your first experience with the Mink Center? So my first experience with the Mink Center is actually I had learned about the program because I was actually interested myself in starting my own business. Because I was interested in event planning, I uh, wanted to start my own wedding planning business. Mm -hmm. So I had came, uh, come across Noala at one of the business fairs and uh, I had ended up scheduling a meeting with her to discuss my plans and what it is that I wanted to do. And she was really great in talking to me about uh, the things that actually go into starting a business and the nuances. So it was really great because she helped to shed some light on creating a business plan and all the work that goes into starting a business. Right. And so you felt like you gained some, a lot of knowledge, important, uh, important, um, maybe strategic, uh, issues that you might need to deal with in starting a business. Right. And all of the the obstacles that needed to be overcome. Right, definitely, because up until that point, I had been doing a lot of uh, planning for friends' parties as well as families' parties, and I had assisted, assisted them with putting that together. Mm -hmm. And so when I had decided to take that step to actually formalizing my plan, uh, I had a general idea of what went into starting a business. However, because of that, I didn't really know about all of the details that go into uh, what you need to do in order to start it, like registering your business, as well as uh, having a business plan, and then also to the contracts that go into working with clients, mm -hmm. insurance, and um, the biggest thing also is how to write a business plan. And I think my experience with the center has actually shown me that it, it is actually one of the harder, uh, one of the harder things to do for a, a new business owner, because that is basically uh, uh, your pathway to your business and it shows those that are interested in your business uh, or even getting funding for it to uh, let them know about what it is that you want to do and how you are going to uh, what the goals that you have to get there right right oh well, that's great that you were that she was so much help to you so just uh, some information so Noella is a business counselor at the Mink Center right correct right Right. So she's uh, our main business. Uh, she's our main business counselor for the center, and then also too, she is really great because she even acts as our instructor for our business workshops. Oh, okay. So uh, I actually ended up attending uh, some of her workshops in the past as well, and she is really great. She's able to. She's very personable and able to answer your questions. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about it is as well. I noticed when you are trying to start your own business is that a lot of times you have it up in your own head but you don't, you don't really have that perspective to really reflect and uh, ask the questions that probably should be asked, mm -hmm. especially too if you don't have any business background. Uh -huh. And so because of that, what happened, with, uh, what happened for my own business is that after going through the process, I decided to put a hold on those plans to start my own business. 
and uh, decided to pursue uh, getting my college degree, which I thought that uh, would be more important in the long run, um, would essentially help me later on in the future to start my own business. So uh, right now I don't, I haven't started, I haven't started yet, but maybe in the future I will. Ah, okay. So there were obstacles in your way in that it was um, trying to create the business plan was challenging right. and then also thinking that you wanted to put your college education first right. before starting your own business. Right, because uh, one of the important things that I had taken from my meetings with Noella is that when you are starting your business, it's not instantaneous, your success. Mm. Rather, uh, you, uh, rather for business owners, it's actually a five-year plan, and that's normally the gauge to measure your success. Uh, you don't really see profits coming in uh, around that time until the five-year or even 10-year uh, depending upon what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it. And so what she was really telling me is that to think hard about what it is that you want to do and if you have the passion to do it, uh, if you have the passion and the determination to do it, you can. However, you also have to think about what else goes into starting your business because since you are not able to see the I guess, fruits of your success right away. Mm -hmm. A lot of times for business owners, that's what is the hardest because they're expecting to get all of this money uh, right away and to be able to make back the money that they've invested. However, uh, what she had mentioned is that a lot of times new business owners, they, um, they actually do have side jobs at the beginning yes. until that point that they are successful enough that they can actually run their business full time. Ah. Oh, that's excellent. I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> she gave you that advice and she gives others that advice because the first thing we always say and she always says is don't quit your day job right, right. <laughs> until you have some <laughs> revenue coming in to support yourself. Very important uh, words and um, suggestions for entrepreneurs and new entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. And so um, what since you did make that choice to not start your own business and to finish off your college education, mm -hmm. do you think that it's still an option for you in the future? I think definitely I do want to pursue it, but what had happened is after I got my college degree is that I found out that for event planning, it's not just the options that are out there isn't just through starting your own business or working for an event planning business. However, there's a lot of organizations out there that do need help with event planning. Mm. And uh, because of that, I actually f was able to make connections with a lot of great organizations um, that are here in the community and uh, especially to, uh, was it with uh, MC MCBL or mm -hmm. the Ming Center for Business and Leadership. Uh, mm -hmm. And you wouldn't think that but I found that is really great. And what I like most about the Ming Center is that I get to help people while doing what I love. Oh, fantastic. That's great. And we really appreciate it too, because <laughs> Brittany is awesome, especially at events. <laughs> Thank you so much. But then you also have another side too that, you're, that you are really great at, and that's your graphic design and marketing. Right, and so... For as far as the graphic design and marketing, I kind of just, even though I had done it in school, I just kind of really stumbled upon it because when I had first gotten into college, I had uh, pretty much uh, pursued the communication path, mm -hmm. the communication route, which is more directed to public relations and events. However, uh, I had taken a break uh, to work for a little, uh, for some time, and then I ended up getting, going back to school, but that's how I found graphic design. Mm -hmm. And so for me, what I realized while I was working is that I need something that will allow me to be creative. So events provides that, but also I found that graphic design and marketing, it also provides that uh, avenue for my creative desires, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. And so I found that I really like it, how all of those pieces, they come together and uh, being able to see your work uh, being used in organizations and to help support their missions and their goals. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Okay, so that's a wonderful segue for us to start talking about one of the programs that's coming up at the Mink Center and YWCA Oahu, which is the Girl Summit Youth Spring Break Program. Yes. So uh, we've actually been working on this for, well, the Mink Center 
Uh, we've actually been working on this for a while. Mm -hmm. So we actually had our first uh, Girls Summit Youth program last year. And so now we are going into our second year. And so we will be having that for spring break, actually. Oh, excellent. So this is, this is the first spring break program that you've had. And I believe the first pilot was over the summer, for a week over the right. summer. And um, I, it was uh, generously sponsored by a Nordstrom grant through YWCA National and uh, given to YWCAs across the country who have supportive programs of youth and um, ours are specifically for girls at the Mink Center. So um, what does, just give us a brief um, outline of what the summit or for the week, the spring break week is going to cover. What is it, what's it focused on? So essentially the Girls Summit Youth Program it's actually a spin-off of our Girls Summit Program for high school students but what we really believe through the Bing Center is that uh, girls should be nurtured through all ages and through their development. And so that is why we extended it to the younger, gener the younger generation. So our Girls Summit Youth Program is uh, directed towards girls in grades six to eight, so middle schoolers. And what we really try to do during the program is to give them the tools through our uh, workshops as well as through our program to nurture and empower them and then also to, to help expand, um, to actually expand their horizons. Mm -hmm. And so we do that through uh, different workshops, like I said, uh, with self-defense and uh, creative writing and then also to we have yoga as well as uh, aloha in our neighborhood. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a really vulnerable age for girls, especially uh, six through eighth grade. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a trying time, both socially and um, and just uh, in school, of course. But it's a it's an important time to boost confidence. Mm -hmm. And so I I'm sure it's a fabulous program, definitely. So it's girls six through eighth grade. So that's what like nine to thirteen or nine to twelve. Yes. I believe it's actually 9 to 13, depending upon where they where their birthday falls in the year. Right. Uh, because, like you were saying, it's really the time that, you know, they start making their, uh, where they are very impressionable. And uh, there's a lot of uh, pressures from them to be a certain way. And we mm. want to show them that they can be confident in themselves and who they are and what they like. And uh, by exploring all of these different uh, areas. Oh, fantastic. Okay, great. So we're gonna take a little break now, and when we come back, we'll dive into the Girl Summit Youth Program for spring break. Thank you. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests, I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book also titled Beyond the Lines and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Okay. Welcome back to Adventures in Small Business. I have Brittany Montiliano here today, the program coordinator from the Patsy T. Mink Center for Business and Leadership. And today we're talking about the uh, Mink Center's uh, Girls Summit Youth Program and they're actually launching their first spring break program. And what were the dates for that, Brittany? So the dates for uh, the spring break program is March 18th through 22nd. So it's really awesome because uh, it's actually an all day program that we'll be holding at uh, the YWCA Oahu in the at the downtown location. So mm -hmm. it's an all day program, like I said, from eight until five. So parents, especially the ones that are working downtown, they can drop their kids off in the morning and then they don't have to worry about mean worry about what it is that they're doing and then also too they're doing something productive and creative oh that's excellent 
Very convenient. Yes, very <laughs> definitely. So, um, so t let's see. Give us a little rundown on what the day's schedule will be. It'll be five days, eight to five. So, what are the girls going to be doing? So, the girls, what they'll be doing is actually, uh, so they'll be starting off their day uh, after they get dropped off with a yoga session and uh, meditation session, and then that'll be followed by uh, some reading and writing that the, uh, that they'll be doing. So, we want to make sure that they increase their knowledge. And then also too, that's going to be followed by, um, that's actually going to be followed on a, a in-depth session about uh, some influential speak or some influential uh, women actually around the world. And uh, of course, they're, we're going to have them uh, learn and talk about uh, Patsy Mink, Queen Lily Okulani, uh, Julia Morgan, who actually uh, built the YWCA, but then also to uh, internationally like Malala or even Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. So there's a touch of um, uh, influential, powerful Hawaiian women yes, and then definitely. also nationally on the national scope right. with Malala being someone a little closer to their age. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. So what we found actually in our, uh, in our previous program is that the girls, they really enjoy learning about these women and it inspired them as well uh, for their own lives mm -hmm. and so uh, after we have that we normally uh, follow that up by a field trip that oh, they'll be okay. taking after that so we have actually field trips to uh, several areas uh, around around the downtown area so like the Hawaii State Museum of Art as well as um, as well as Foster Botanical Gardens oh. and then uh, even uh, Queen's Hospital Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. That's great. And then, um, and then are they, I think, are one of the days, are they going to the library, the state library? Oh, yes. Yes, they are. And so we have the state library and then also, too, we even have uh, them going to, um, well, they're actually going to have a vote. Uh, they're actually going to have a field trip with, uh, to see a stunt woman. So oh, that's really exciting. The oh, girls, that's neat. Right, so we actually have a portion of the day that is dedicated to self-defense. Uh -huh. So we noticed that uh, last year that the girls were really excited about that. So we tried to incorporate that into our program. And then uh, at the end of the day, we kind of wrap things up uh, where the girls have a creative writing session. And mm -hmm. so what happens actually with that creative writing is that uh, it goes towards something that they can take home at the end of the week and that is oh, actually that? uh well right here so the girls actually they uh work collaboratively each day to create this book and so this is actually the book from our earlier session uh our earlier program uh and it's titled aloha and so basically if you go through the book it actually goes over all of the key points that uh, we try to touch upon with the girls and teach them about the Aloha spirit. So, and if you look at it, all of this artwork is actually created by them as well. So that's really nice. So the points that we are is okahi, so meaning kindness and to be expressed with tenderness. Uh, and then, so these are actually some pages that we have from the rest of the book. And then uh, lokahi, so lokahi meaning unity, uh, to be expressed with harmony. Ah, uh, so each day has a word from the Aloha Spirit um, guideline. Yes, I'm. I'm I've, uh, I can't remember what it, it's the Aloha Spirit. Uh, it's actually a rule or a. Um, uh, put into law. Right, so it's actually a statute in a statute, uh, the government. Right. Uh, so that was something that was surprising to me because I hadn't heard of that, but uh, so it's pretty funny for a lot of people where they use the term aloha very loosely. However, there's actually a strict definition within our state, uh, in our, uh, within our state government mm -hmm. uh, about what aloha is. And we try to uh, teach the girls about that. And so that is why uh, throughout the Throughout each day, we try to touch upon one aspect of the Aloha spirit to help them really, you know, figure out, well, how does that apply to their lives? But then also to how does, how can they use that to help the community? Right. Oh, fantastic. That's great. And so they, so the order of the day is they have a yoga class every day. Right. So they have yoga <laughs> every morning and then they move to like a reading and, or a... Reading and reading, writing. Reading and writing, like mm -hmm. a reading and creative writing, and then they focus on 
one specific strong woman in uh, the community, either here or nationally. And then they do a self-defense class every day. Yes, oh, every day. Oh, that's wonderful. And then they do a field trip every day. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, excellent. And then they wrap it up by doing some artwork and some writing that culminates in a book by the end of the week. Right. Oh, and okay. uh, so the good thing about it, like I was saying, is that it's a collaborative effort because a lot of times, uh, and I mean, we do this as adults as well, is that we get so stuck in working by ourselves. Mm -hmm. However, uh, what we like to show them is that if they work collaboratively, that, you know, who knows what you can do. And so it's really great for them to be able to have this and have, uh, you know, be able to translate what they've learned into something that they can actually bring home and share with their family. So it doesn't mm -hmm. stop at the on Friday when they finish the program, but they can actually have this to remember for the rest of their lives and oh, share with their friend, friends and family. That's great. And then what, is there like a little booklet or something that you bought that the girls created? Um, actually, yes. So the great thing about our center is that we've, through our work and through what we do uh, with the small business community, mm -hmm. we've actually made some really great connections uh, with a lot of great businesses. And so one of them is actually Bradley and Lily. So uh, we actually worked uh, with Stacey Nomura, Nomura from Bradley and Lily to create this uh, really cute book. And so, um, so what we did is that we asked Stacey if she could help us with uh, putting together the girls' artwork to create some sort of memento that we can give to the girls every time we have a girls' summit or any of our other programs to bring home with them. Oh, okay. So it's really nice, actually. So if you look at it, so all of these pieces of art you can actually find also, too, in our book. Right. So we have the rainbow as well as the pineapple and the YWCA, the YWCA, of course, and then also to Hawaii. So ah. this is something that we actually uh, have the girls think about, uh, about what is important from their days. And so just translating it into a piece. And it's a great thing as well for us to show them is that. Uh, even though they have the book, there are other things as well that, um, you know, they can do with their art as, um, as another option. Oh, fantastic. And so um, was, this was also available for the Girls' Summit also. Right. Right? And when was the last Girls' Summit that you had? So actually the most recent Girls' Summit that we had was of Maui. So the great, the great thing about uh, Girls' Summit is that we've... Uh, found so much success actually with uh, Girls Summit Oahu that we've actually expanded it to the neighbor islands. Oh, fantastic. And so uh, we actually just uh, finished producing this book and so we are able to share it with uh, the Girls Summit Maui uh, attendees. So there we had uh, more than 50 girls, high school girls, attend the program mm -hmm. and uh, they were able to see it. And so the feedback was so great because they're like, oh, that's so cute. And it's something that is just their own. It's not something that they can also find in any store. It's right. special just uh, for the Exclusive wider... for Girls Summit. Yes, exclusive for Girls Summit. So oh, really wonderful. exciting. So the Girls Summit itself is geared towards high school girls. Yes. And that was on Maui. Right. And um, that was with the help of um, the Maui Economic Development Board Women in Tech. Right. And uh, fantastic. That's wonderful. That was in Kahului. Yes. So they actually, so, uh, so med B, mm -hmm. shorter. Uh, so, they, uh, so they're really great in helping us to really draw in uh, or really... Uh, to help us with putting together such a strong program. Uh, so the theme of that particular Girls Summit, uh, Girls Summit program was uh, women, um, well STEM, mm -hmm. with STEM and engineering. So right. it was really great to actually see, uh, we had a speaker that came in uh, from, what is it, the Hawaii Observatory. Mm -hmm. And so she was actually able to teach them a really cool, um, they actually had a really cool exercise uh, where they had to come up, create, come up with their own uh, design mm -hmm. to actually withstand uh, heat and fire. Oh. And so they had this testing with, that they did where uh, was it? they had to see who could actually create a design that could be put up against fire and uh, be able to last the longest. Oh. So apparently before that, um, apparently before 
that particular girl summit, the record was, I think it was uh, seven minutes. Mm. However, we had someone actually bypass that and uh, was able to uh, have 10 minutes, uh, have a prototype that was able to withstand 10 minutes of heat and flame. Oh. And it could have even have lasted longer. So that oh was a gosh, major accomplishment for us. That's great. That's great. Okay, so swinging back to the Girls' Summit Youth, I think we have some pictures of the um, pilot program over the summertime that we can get a look at and kind of take a look. There's the girls with our YWCA symbol <laughs> and um, the Girls' Summit Youth Spring Break. And then let's see, let's go to the next picture. Oh, yep, there's our cover. That's great. And there they are. Oh, okay. So those are cards. Did they make the cards? Yes, so they actually made the cards. So in addition to writing the book, we try to give them other opportunities to, um, to be able to explore creatively. Mm -hmm. So what we, the project that we have given them, because they had visited uh, Queen's Hospital earlier in the week, they had, uh, they had actually created cards for the patients at Queen's. And uh, what Queen's had mentioned to us is that they, um, so they actually have some patients that are there for a little longer. And so the girls actually had the opportunity to meet some of them. And so their way to give back to the hospital was to create some cards for those patients to give to their friends and family while they're in the hospital. So uh, it was really great because what they did is that it really helped to, it's just a small um, token, but it really meant a lot to the patients in the hospital there. Oh, great. Okay, let's see, we have another picture, I think. Oops. Oh. Yes. So this one is actually at the governor's office. So another uh, awesome thing about the program is that uh, we give the girls the opportunity to go to the state capitol and actually to meet with some of the legislators. Uh, and in this particular visit, they actually were able to go to the governor's office uh, oh. to meet him as well as uh, to see what is out there. I mean, not too many people uh, personally get to go up there to see what his office is like. Right. Um, and they had the chance, so. Oh, terrific. And then, oh, and then they had a visit with Senator Thielen also. Yes, yes. Oh, that's so, wonderful. So a tour of the Capitol. That's fantastic. That's great. Okay, so um, Brittany, just tell me how uh, anybody interested in sending their daughter to the Girls' Summit uh, Spring Break uh, sorry, Girls Summit Youth Spring Break Week in March. How can they um, get a hold of uh, you to express their interest, or how do they sign up? So for the girls that are, or anyone that is interested in sending their daughters or any girls that are interested in attending the program, all they have to do is actually contact us. So if they call us on our main line at 808-695-2635, or they can also email us at mcbl at ywcaoahu.org. Um, right. And then uh, we actually even have information on our Facebook page. So if they are interested, they can check us out there or even on our website. Okay, at, what's the website? So mcblhawaii.org. Oh, excellent. Well, I want to thank Brittany Montiliano for being here today on the Adventures in Small Business show. And we will... Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.